Yeah, Evan, uh, Coach Avent mentioned that, you know, he doesn't normally like to put you in the game, in a tied game, but he kind of wanted to, he said if this team was going to beat us, then they're going to beat our best. For you to go in and, you know, pitch an inning when it's tied, but then to see Jose hit that home run, I mean, just what was your feeling, emotion, like when you saw him hit that, knowing that you were three outs away? Yeah. Well, in between innings, I just asked those guys to give me one run. And um, I was going to go out there and give them my best, uh, give them everything I have to try and put this team to them all. So I knew, I knew our offense could do it. Um, and Jose came in clutch. Andrew. Evan, it, seeing you out there today, you, one would not have guessed that you threw 48 pitches yesterday. What's kind of been the key to you all this year in terms of staying sharp and staying fresh and being able to pitch on back-to-back -back days like that? Because you've done it several times throughout this season. Yeah, well, the support staff here at NC State is unbelievable. Um, Scott Ensler, our trainer, does an amazing job, you know, helping all the pitchers and everybody just get ready to go, um, addressing any, you know, health things anybody needs or just, you know, with me, just helping me bounce back the next day. Um, but, you know, I just had, I just wanted to go out there today. Um, you know, game three of the Super Regional, I think nothing was going to hold me back from going out there. And what does it mean to you and to this group to come back from all of the adversity that you guys faced early in the season to this moment now and being the first at NC State team in eight years to be on the way to Omaha? You know, I'm just so proud of, proud of our guys. Um, you know, obviously everybody talks about we didn't get off the start we wanted to, but that, that didn't phase us. Um, we stuck, stuck to what we do, working hard, um, never quitting. And, you know, like I said, I'm just, just so proud of the guys. All right, Rob, close it out. Uh, Evan, what type of mindset and type of mentality does it ha take to have to get out there at the end of a game, to want to be the guy to close the game out and get the job done? I think that just comes with being a competitor. Um, I love I love being out there, and especially in those high pressure pressure, pressure situations. Excuse me. Um, you know that's when it's most fun to me. So I was glad I got the call, and you know, I'm glad I was able to get the job done when our offense came through in the ninth. When the final out is made, that split second after that, that the exhilaration. Could you try to describe that? It's honestly hard to remember. It's just one of those unbelievable like feelings that you know you know I don't it's it's honestly hard to say I don't really have any words um but I'm just like I said just proud of the guys and you know we achieved one of our goals but we're not done yet and then finally you're a guy obviously you've been in college a little bit you know how hard this is to have three freshman pitchers come in when you're in elimination games in a super regional against a top ranked team in their crib how difficult is that how impressed are you by what uh, those three guys did. Yeah, those guys were great. Uh, Matt and Chris did an unbelievable job today. They came out there, you know, and competed. They competed their butts off and did a great job and put, put me in a very fortunate situation to come into a tie ball game in the eighth and then be able to finish it out. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, that'll wrap it up. Evan, great job. Thank you very much. Thank you.